Hey guys, <clears throat> uh, this is part two in, um, what did I phrase it last time? Uh, I asked Chris, my nine down friend, to help me out through, I'm trying to break through to my old strength again. And I've been playing so minimally for years for teaching purposes that I'm hitting a wall. Oh, the crazy stone level up. I hit a wall at five down, won the five down, but six down, I'm like not having a chance. So I said, what am I doing wrong? I really felt lost and he's helping me through that. And the video before this, we looked at the game I showed him and my, the thinking I need to change. So this is part two. Wow, I said a lot there just to say part two. Okay, I'm white as always. Approach, no problem. Now, I've been playing A a long time. I love A. Points and so, what's the problem? I love A. But it does give him a big moyo. And a pro I had a lesson with recently said, you know, I don't like moyos. I, I come out. Now, we've talked about this recently. I'm going to talk about it again. The reason I don't, I haven't played this in a long time is because if we look at A, everyone knows white's alive. I'm already alive. And have taken black's potential corner away. Here, not alive yet. No points, no eyes. Uh, not alive yet. No points, no eyes. No points, no eyes. No point. I mean, like, okay, finally, I've accomplished something. What'd you accomplish? I have a stable group. How many points you get? Pretty close to zero. Black got points on top, black got points on the right, black got sente. That's why I tend to stay away from this. Uh, but black doesn't have a moyo. And if you want sente, this is a perfectly good sente move. Right? And that's how the game went. So the pro said this is his style. And so I'm thinking, well, I've been staying away for, from so long, and I know the other moves so well. Let me just switch so I start learning this one. Okay. That catches up with why I'm playing the way I am. Okay. Uh, I, I, I don't like A because it's Gote when I can play this move in Sente, and it's good enough. And he fixes. Now, let's talk a little bit about why it's good enough. Um, my A, B stones. The 3-3 three, is open. If he takes the 3-3, three, three, that's pretty much like him playing C. Like, oh, I took those points. It, it's slow. Okay. So if he cuts with like C or something, I live in the corner. So those zones aren't a problem. That's that's not an issue. I can live in the corner or on the right, all that kind of stuff. So then we see the, the, the cut at A. Well, it's a ladder, it's a net. I mean, these, these things aren't too much of a problem. So the position's pretty solid. It's something I can use to fight with. Okay, so everything's fine, which leads us to here we are. And now my next move showed more bad thinking on my part. Let's, so my thought process. Okay, let's say I play way to wherever it's going to be. I'll just put it here so we don't have to think about black sente. I'm thinking black comes out. In Sente, I can't let him surround my corner. And now the group that I'm uncomfortable with, my center group, is cut off. Ugh. I'm not liking this. Therefore, I want to play something to make those things work together. It says, well, it's first of all, it's not a problem. Right? If you just take your corner 
and black says i don't want to get cut and i don't want to get cut you're still fine everywhere it's not a problem okay so we saw i had fear here it says but playing there is pretty darn big and he put it here and i'm like well that's what i wanted but my fear is him cutting me off it's like well there's that fear again your group's not weak that's i keep i've been hitting that and ever since i went through that lesson with him i'm like oh yeah okay so now i'm playing the crazy so more at six i'm going don't be afraid look at this look at that keep up with it and i'm doing better and we'll make i'll make some videos on that because i'm excited about it okay so this is not a problem what i did which isn't a horrible move or anything i just placed more attention to defense and less attention to the corner i also like that i mean heck that white stone's alive i mean don't you like the way black's looking horrible so i did like it he says yeah it's not a or terrible move it's you know it's it's okay he comes in <clears throat> now one of the things i'm fighting one of the things that i need to get over emotionally is this you know since i keep falling behind against the six on computer it's like oh i'm just i must be terrible i must be this my thoughts must be horrible and one thing i came away with no i'm doing just fine way better than i thought there's just a couple little things so i'm so excited about finding i used to be pretty confident in my game i mean i'd play seven on eight on i'm like i'm confident not that i'm going to win but I, you know within a couple points i felt pretty good okay so now we're going to play a or b because black has come into our area and we want to take advantage of that i thought that b was the only move because when he comes when i play here he has enough room to do whatever he wants and i'm not saying we don't have counterplay what i am saying is black has freedom if he chooses that move okay what if he chooses that and he can do anything he wants heck he can walk away and not be he could test me first he has all these freedoms well here i'm pushing him into the wall i just made on top of which i don't feel that my wall is weak i may decide to add a stone i might even decide to not get cut but it's not like i have any groups in trouble there so he comes in and i respond and i'm like i love this i feel like the game's over he has a pitifully stupid group right next to my wall I'm going to get so much sente. I've got nothing he's going to get sente on me for. So I'm feeling fantastic. He says, yeah, it's, yeah, looking good. He said, you might have considered, and I hadn't considered it. Um, I'm thinking black looks weak. And he says, yeah, black looks weak. Why don't you attack a little more forcefully? I'm like, yeah, I know the move. I just didn't cross my mind. I love that move when I'm like, I'm ready to attack this sucker. He says, it looks like you may be ready to attack this sucker. It's a big white wall there. And you just back off, of course, and it's way more severe in a time that you have the right to be more severe. I hadn't considered that. Okay, so I play here. And now my all the feelings you know oh what do i do there's this option there's this option you know oh i don't want to miss so what i wanted to do let me approach it a different way <clears throat> i'm attacking the a group 
as I do that, I want to use my B wall for small moyo center area, get some solidity there, uh, lots of paths here. Well, that's all good and fine, but I missed, I didn't miss it. It felt bad to me, but I didn't put a name on it. If I had put a name on it, this feeling I had, and that's, that's where I got strong from five dawn on up was put a name on it. If you name it, you'll start understanding it more. So the thing that I didn't like was this. This really bothers me. But instead I went with, well, I don't know what to do about that, so I'll, I'll attack A and do a B thing. Rather than, well, do all of that. You're totally helping the left. I mean, basically playing this move, right? Does that help the left? Duh, of course that helps the left. Okay, Same thing, except now you're applying some very serious this is we might call this dead and we might call this dead and that's getting pretty serious perfect but i got stuck not seeing the simple path so that's one thing i'm learning from these lessons is first of all calm down quit having all the self-doubt and uh you know, see what you're doing, name the, the situations, and go sharply. Go with intent, not generalities. To me, those are the key points. Now, I mentioned in part one that this is videos intended to mid-dawn on up. I'm trying to imagine some 3Q going, what in the heck are they talking? I and mean, it's not, these aren't easy concepts. And also, dealing with i don't know who you are but i think you have emotional issues like i have the lack of confidence the overconfidence the bloodlust that needs to get dealt with there's that's what i like about go it says all this garbage going inside you calm down okay caught up to here so i decided let me go this way forcing some issues and let's do it this way he says well if black submits like this it's a dream come true of course that's a great way to go white got everything heck black's not even alive yet necessarily so uh so my idea was sound although i went about it a bit funny now, check this out. The marked gap, right? I didn't treat that with clarity. So what I said was, I'm going to deal with that. Rather than, I am dealing with that. And if you're mid, mid down on up, you better do the thing you're trying to do. Or else... What, you're going to continue? Oh, my God. This could get terrible. You're all broken apart. So do the thing. That's a big step right there. Okay. That one here. Uh, got all of this taken care of. Here was another thing where I just didn't wasn't calm. I thought, well, this doesn't work because Kane's under, and I go, oh, I can't submit here. This is terrible. He's like, well, didn't you read it out? I said, no. Was I supposed to? So, of course, you can double on here. He's going to die if he cuts you. Okay. So I did it this way. It's still a good way. And now I need to get stronger this way, which may well be sente or just fix the cut which might be sente i am trying to do so much work i'm like well if i go this way and i get that and then i get the capture 
Then I have some, I got a lot of center stuff. No, black's the one that's alive and thick and ready to fight. So I was so off base with that move. I just got caught up. Okay, cross cut. And that's as far as we went with this. And that's where I start collapsing. I took on too much and gave him thickness. And once he has thickness, it's just horrible. Okay. So that's part two. And we have one more part. Hope it's helpful. It sure is helpful to me. Catch you later. Bye.